Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to order fractions from uh, smallest to largest. Okay, so we've got uh, two sevenths here, five sevenths here, and three twenty-firsts here. And what you have to make sure you do, if, you're, if you have to order fractions, okay, what you have to make sure you do is make sure that all the denominators are the same, and that'll help you organize uh, smallest to largest, or largest to smallest simply by uh, having to look at the numerators okay so the first thing I'm going to do is change these denominators all to the same thing okay so uh, the two sevenths I can leave uh, sorry no I can't uh, the two sevenths I'm going to need to change and the five sevenths I'm going to need to change because I noticed that uh, 21 is uh, is on the 7 times table, so I'm going to change the uh, denominators all to 21. Okay, so uh, what did I do to this 7 to make it 21? Uh, I multiplied that by 3, so that means that I need to multiply this 2 by 3. So then I have to multiply the 2 by 3 because we need to make sure that we are creating equivalent fractions. Okay, so 2 times 3 is going to be 6. And again, we have another 7 here. What did I multiply the 7 by to get 21? I multiplied it by 3, so I'll multiply this 5 by 3. 5 times 3 is 15, and I didn't multiply the 21 by anything, so I don't have to do anything with that, and I can just move this 3 over here. Okay, so I've made all of these equivalent fractions, so now I can just put them in order. So. Um, I've got I've got 6 over 21 here, I've got 15 over 21 here, and I've got 3 over 21 here. So now it's pretty obvious um, which one is going to be the smallest, which one is the largest. So let's just write that again here. So I'm ordering fractions from smallest to largest, okay? So the smallest one is going to be 3 over 21. So we've got 3 over 21, and then the next largest would be 6 over 21. And then the next largest would be 15 over 21. So that is how you order fractions from smallest to largest. Okay, so um, why don't we give you uh, some, some more, some more uh, practice questions, or some more practice fractions, and then you can... Uh, practice putting them in order. Okay, so I've given you two sets of fractions. In this one, I would like you to go from uh, largest to smallest. And for this one, I'd like you to go small to large. Okay, so pause the video. Work these out, and then come back and see if you got the same answers I got. Okay, good luck. Okay, so uh, you'll notice that we have uh, four-fifths here. So basically I'm saying, right, what did I do to the five to make 20? You'll notice that I've got 20 as the denominator because I've worked out that uh, 20 was the... Uh, was the uh, common multiple of all of these three denominators. So what did I do to 5 to get 20? I multiplied it by 4. Okay, so that means that this one would be 16. What did I do to the 10 to get 20? Well, I multiplied it by 2, so that means the 7 would turn into 14. And what did I do to the 4 to get 20? I multiplied it by 5. 
Okay, so that's going to be 10. And now, since I'm looking at large to small, uh, it's pretty obvious which ones are which. Uh, let's just do number one here. We'll call this question number one. Uh, and we can say that the largest one, actually, they're already in order. Wow, that, that's magical. Okay, so the first one is uh, 16 over 20. Uh, the second one is 14 over 20. And the third one is 10 over 20. Okay. All right, so that's, uh, that's what I got for the uh, first question. Uh, now let's go on to the second question. Okay, so we'll call the question 2 over here, and we'll call this question 2 here. So, again, we have to just work our way across, and uh, coincidentally, uh, we have 20 as the uh, denominator again. Um, not really coincidentally, the denominators are all the same, but never mind. Um, again, what did we do to 4 to make it 20? We multiplied by 5. Okay, so that means that this is going to be 10. What did we do to the 5 to make it 20? We multiplied by 4. So that's going to make that 12. And what did we do to the 10 to make it 20? We multiplied by 2. So that's going to be 16. Okay, so um, not a lot of variation from the last one. This is uh, small to large, so it's going to be 10 over 20. It's going to be uh, 12 over 20 and 16 over 20. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. You have to remember, though, you must make sure that you turn the uh, denominators, you have to make sure that all the denominators are um, the, the common, uh, are a common denominator, okay? So, um, whenever you're faced with three or more fractions with different denominators, you have to get them all the same, okay? And so you have to make sure that you follow this pattern. All right? Good luck.